Hey Peter, Tom Ritter, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, oh, uh, whatever time of day it is when you get to this. I have had time to go through your funnels, all the different sort of entry points to get back to client development. There are a couple strategies I've got down and need to figure out what your scope of work is and what your budget is because essentially what you've got the opportunity to do here is launch somewhere between this is 10 or 15 campaigns we've got seven funnels and every single one of them is appropriate for Facebook with the retargeting component and at least five or six of them are perfect for YouTube. Perfect for YouTube. And that's probably way more than you're looking to do. And need to get an idea of what your scope for a test is. How much money do you want to spend in a day? Because we need to break that up amongst the seven. If it doesn't support seven, then we're only testing one or two or three or whatever it supports. But we're not going to test a campaign that's under budgeted. We can test three campaigns one week and three campaigns the next week, but if the budget doesn't support six, we're not going to test six campaigns. Or at least I'm not, because I'd rather we just spend your money on gifts for each other, if that's what we're going to do. Um, but here's what I see. Uh, I'll shoot you options on pricing. The whole boat option, the big enchilada, so to speak, is having all these individual ads set up on Facebook. You've got seven Facebook ad campaigns that are all different that need to be set up. I do think the opportunity, and that, that's simple, that's cut and dry, I'll, I'll send you the price on that. Um, Facebook is a good fit. YouTube, however, I think is, is potentially a more interesting option in some respects. If anyone is searching for, for example, difficult people, how to deal with difficult people. If they've done any of that work on Google, we can retarget them on YouTube. And since 80% of YouTube's ad inventory goes unsold every day, we can do so extremely efficiently. Meaning, that prospect who has searched for how to deal with difficult people, or they're looking at competitors and information about difficult people, we when they're on YouTube, and they will be on YouTube overwhelmingly, it is the second largest um, search engine on the planet. So when they're on YouTube, after having done any sort of Google activity related to your products or services, we'll pre-roll them. They'll look at a video, maybe related to the topic, maybe not, but we'll pop you up. And in the first 14 seconds, we'll throw down, we know you need to deal with difficult people. We know how to do it. We've got an offer today, we've got a lead magnet, we've got a solution, but they'll see your video. And as long as on YouTube, you deliver a message that says, either click on my ad and get my, my solution to dealing with difficult people, or don't, just go watch the video you were gonna watch. If they do that within 30 seconds, you do not pay for the ad view. Furthermore, if they actually click on the ad and go to your product for dealing with difficult people, if we get them to do that within 30 seconds, you don't get charged. So you're ideal for YouTube in a couple ways in that video should convey the value of your brand and your product probably better than anything else. And with proper execution, there might be a great deal of email collection you can do, possibly even closed sales on traffic that you might not be paying for. So that's the second option. And that would be a short form advertising style YouTube video that jumps right to the point, tells them to click if they're interested, tells them to go ahead and click away if they're not. And if they do one or the other, you don't pay if it happens within 30 seconds. The other YouTube video which you might have currently recorded content that fits is a long form instructional video and that would be whether it's dealing with difficult people or any of the sort of slices of topic we have if you put a 10 minute plus video in there 
what we would do with that is answer the entire question as best as we can. So that would be if someone's looking on YouTube, this isn't pre-roll and this isn't retargeting. This is because they're looking at another video on YouTube right now about dealing with difficult people, about, you know, um, knowing your values about alignment. If they're looking at any of the specific topics, we would put next to that video and as a recommended video, your comprehensive 10 to 30 to 40 minute complete answer. Because if someone's looking for an answer on YouTube, an ad video is worthless. You have to answer their question. If you show them a two minute video and says, now go to my website, you blew it. You showed them the wrong video. You need to simply show them a long video that answers their whole damn question and then lead them and say, hey, you know, I've got your trust. You've listened to me for 15, 20 minutes. Did you know we've actually got a sale on a diff our difficult person product today? But that product also extremely inexpensive. Oftentimes you can get great organic traction with those videos as well, Peter. So in addition to what you know about Facebook and what we are likely to do, those are your options on YouTube retargeting with pre-roll and associating a long form video that's very instructional and conveys tremendous value in one sitting and showing that to people who are in the midst of a search on YouTube at that time. So this isn't somebody who looked last week on Google. This is somebody who's looking right now on YouTube. So you don't show them an ad, you show them an answer. You show them credibility, you, sh you build a relationship at that point. Those are the YouTube strategies. They are an extremely good fit for you on the surface until you talk me out of it. I believe these are great tactics for your business. However, you refer to this as a test in your email. I've got to tell you that is a huge red flag. Test usually means, well, I don't want to put the time into it or I don't want to put the money into it. I want to put half the money into it and see if it works. Test campaigns are like, oh boy, you might as well just take the old nag out back and shoot it now. So I, I am very wary of the word test. Either we're in it to win it or we're not. But if we start spending your money on Facebook, we need to do so with the intention of getting a return not testing a system and that means appropriate budgeting and that that's where my concern lies is you've got seven funnels that in my opinion represent 14 campaigns if you don't have the war chest to run 14 campaigns you're not going to execute these seven funnels top notch so we need to figure out where do we start are we going to start with two three four five six seven are we going to do just facebook just youtube and, you know, where does your interest lie in that? But what I will tell you is, I promise, whatever your budget is, I will match that up with a configuration that leverages it to the fullest extent. We're not going to dip our toe in the pool. We're going to try and sell some stuff. We're going to try and build some audiences, and we're going to try and make a difference in your marketing right away. So I just want you to understand where I'm coming from, uh, what work I've done in preparation, and what information you can expect to receive here in a couple of minutes. This has been fairly long-winded, but I wanted to get into where my mind is about your messaging, how you can transmit value to people who find you, and I'm heavily in favor of video for that. You, you communicate well, you present well, your videos look good, they sound good. Everything about that opportunity is, is very legitimate. So uh, watch your email. You're gonna see a huge range from testing one campaign to testing seven funnels in two places, which is you know gonna be in the neighborhood of 14. So watch your email. Thanks for your time. I hope this wasn't terribly long-winded. I didn't really script this uh just been running around all day and wanted to get back in front of you and frankly would have taken longer to write than to speak it um i'll have pricing in your email but this is is sort of where i sit strategy wise there's nothing you're doing that i feel like isn't a good fit for one of those two places of course you know it becomes a question of let's find out by degrees which of these is really 
the best thing to be doing. So watch your email. I'm yammering at this point. It's been a long day. Um, but thanks, Peter. Uh, uh, looking forward to your response and hoping we can speak soon. Take care.